This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 15% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Educate E-commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can cancel a customer's order on Shopify store. So uh, sometimes you will have to uh, cancel your order when the order is not in stock or there is a fraudulent approach from the customers. So uh, you have a fraud analysis section on the Shopify that is given by default and how you can proceed uh, after that. Uh, that's what I'm going to talk in this video. So as you can see, I have placed, I have got an order on uh, my Shopify store. So I'll just click on to this uh, order. So here you will be able to see that the order is fulfilled. The item is paid though. And as you go down, you will be able to see there is a fraud analysis section. So if there is a charge back uh, using the credit card or if you see any uh, high risk orders, you will be able to see that here in the fraud analysis section. So you can just click on to full analysis and all the red uh, yellow or uh, normal dots indicates how risk the order uh, order or the customer is that has placed an order so uh, here are some green buttons so the, the so this is a good indication if it is uh, red it's a bad indication that the order can be uh, the order can be fraudulent so in case you detect any suspicious order or uh, if the fraud analysis shows a very high risk order you can cancel the order so for that, all you have to do is you can go to the more action button right here. So you can just click on to that and click to cancel order. So upon canceling, you'll be asked where the amount should be refund or you can click on to refund later options as well. So here we have the uh, credit card details. So, uh, so using that you can refund their order. And if you want to restock the items that they have purchased or the, so when a customer or purchase an order, uh, amount of the inventory is lessened. So if you want to restock that item, you can just click onto this checkbox and restock that items. And uh, also if you want to send the customer, if in case the uh, order is canceled genuinely, uh, because there is uh, any uh, reason for the cancellation can be fraudulent order, item unavailable, payment declined, all these options. So if the item unavailable option is there, you can send the customer a notification. So you can just click on to the notification setting. So it will take you to the uh, email SMS notifications. So here we have the order cancellation uh, template. So this is the email template. You can edit this. So uh, to simplify the view, you will be able to see the SMS template. So your order from has been cancelled uh, due to uh, unavailability of stock. So that's just a reason and you will be refunded by within three working days so you can edit the message you can edit the email and sms as you see so uh, the sms you will be able to preview uh, here you can just click on to so this is what uh, it will be shown as a uh, message and if you uh, go to the email section you can just save it and uh, you can go to the email section and preview the mail as well. So here the order has been cancelled. So you can edit this section right here uh, so that uh, you will be able to see that what the email is going to the customer when you have when your order is cancelled. So this is a very crucial part. You don't have to, uh, you don't want to upset your customer saying very thing is something rude. So, uh, so you can uh, add some words that can uh, relieve the customers. And uh, when you let's go back. And here uh, the order uh, will now be cancelled. You can just click on to cancel order and click on to cancel order right here. So upon doing this, the order will be cancelled and uh, the it will be restocked onto your store. The uh, amount will be refunded within the days and here you will be able to see that the order has been cancelled or the striked out order will be av available on the orders page. So this is how you can cancel an order if uh, if there is an issue or if you find the customer to be fraudulent or anything like that. 
so uh, this uh, this is also a very important step as you fulfill the order there are uh, times where you have to cancel the orders as well so i hope this video helped you and if you like this video give a big thumbs up and we'll see another video bye